the salvation, the freedom, the redemption that you have been praying for that you will have. Raise up that hand and say, Lord, here am I. You have been interceding for me, praying for me that I will be saved, I will be forgiven. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. God bless you there. Thank you. God bless you. Heaven sees you there. You are raising up your hand. You want that impossibility of conquering sin. You want that impossibility to become possible. Raise up that hand and stand up. As you are standing up, whisper to the Lord there. Pray unto the Lord Lord there, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. My sin injures heaven, injures my neighbor, injures people around me. I am injurious. My character, my behavior, my lifestyle injures my neighbors. But I do not love them as myself. I don't consider them. I don't consider their happiness or their joy. My life is injurious. Lord, forgive me. Lord, change my life. Lord, transform my life. I tried to turn over a new leaf by myself. I couldn't make it. Now, Christ, Savior, Lord, intercessor, do it for me. Tell him. Tell him. He will do it. He will forgive you. He will save you. And there will be peace in your heart. There will be the joy of salvation in your life. Amen. I'm praying with you now. Keep your hand up as you are standing up. Father, in Jesus' name, all these, my brothers and sisters, they have come to you. Here at the Alpha location, there on online. Lord, I pray according to your intercession for every sinner, forgive them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you will turn their lives around right now. I pray all the wastage in their lives. I pray, Lord, you bring the worthy life unto them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, your forgiveness come to them right now. The imputation of your righteousness come to them now in Jesus' name. And the impartation of your righteousness come to everyone now in Jesus' name. Lord, we believe in you. They believe in Christ. And I pray that the salvation that follows faith in Christ will come to everyone right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. Our counselors are there. And the counselors will interact with you and will have, you know, the details they are asking so that we can follow up with you that their salvation will abide in Jesus' name. It is say amen to that one. And then believers who are there, remember, you made intercession for your sanctification. While we doing this now, just bow your head and tell the Lord, Oh Lord, I know without holiness no man shall see the Lord. And you have made intercession for my sanctification and holiness. Sanctify me, purify me. While we are doing all this, then as you are praying, they will answer your prayer and sanctify you in Jesus name and then after we finish this I'll be coming back to pray 
for the sick because he's also making intercession for the sick. We call on our officiating uh, overseer tonight uh, to help us with this counseling session. The impartial intercession of the Lord Jesus Christ for you is not in vain. As you yield your life to the Lord Jesus Christ this night, congratulations. Give all the necessary information and rejoice in your heart. Because the wonderful grace of Jesus Christ, the wonderful effect of his impartial intercession has reached unto you. Thank you very much. Changing you. Can we now present uh, the overruling your wasted Lord years? Quickly. Canceling all your wasted years. Making you a new creature. It's a great thing the Lord is doing in your life. You won't allow us to be happy. Rejoice in it. And the greatest way to show you appreciate what he has done is to make that decision a no turning back decision you have yielded your life unto him you have confessed your sins you have asked him you have asked him to come into your life he too is making you a new creature and he's not imputing your sins upon you again he has forgiven he has forgiven to so give all the necessary information quickly don't forget the rest of us Thank you so much. is impartial intercession covers every area of your life Thank you so much. Thank oh you, you so have much. believed before this time can we now have can we now have the parade is intercession the parade. Quick, quick, is quick. also for your stability in the lord no more rising and falling but you go on to sanctification as you have had tonight. Go on to a better life. A richer life in the Lord Jesus Christ. You are praying on that. Don't just look here and there. Pray on that. While the counselors are dealing with those who are just giving their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, you are praying through unto richer, deeper, greater, higher experience in the Lord. And those of you who are online, in different locations across the globe, pray likewise. As those who are just yielding their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ are giving the necessary information to the counselors, remember his impartial intercession covers every area of your life. Pray through. Even tonight, he's there with you to take you to a greater, higher level in Him. We still hope to help you further, especially those of you that are online. Look at the screen of the television, of your tablet, of your computer, of your phone. You will see a link there. Go to that link and your form will appear to you there. Complete that form. And then submit. It will help us to give much assistance to you in this new way that the Lord has just brought you into.
And you've been, you have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ before. Keep on praying in every area of your life where you desire the help of the Lord. Where you have the things that the things that appeared impossible before, they are made clear. They are made clear unto you today that by His powerful intervention, those impossibilities will go, and all things become possible unto you. For with Him, nothing shall be impossible. Don't forget those of you online. Click on the link that appears on your screen. A form will appear that you will complete online there and then submit. Or better still, you will see a phone number through which you can connect with the Lord Jesus Christ. As you text that, it will give us information about you and will help you further in your connection with the Lord Jesus Christ. The phone number is plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three again plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three from any part of the world send whatsapp to that number give your details your name in full and send to that number we will help you further by the grace of god The counselors should please endeavor to remain around the people so that by the time the miracle prayer comes, you will be able to help them more. Don't forget the impartial intercession of the Lord Jesus Christ is impartial it's not just for a set of people and maybe for some others not for them never it is for everybody every individual to get set prepare to plunge into the depth of the riches that that intercession is bringing into your life some have already got the salvation and by the grace of God it will be permanent and some of you are already praying all this life of rising and falling is going you will be stable and well established in the Lord have you been praying for sanctification because that intercession covers it God will impart his own very nature upon you. And the fallen nature, the nature that made you to be sinning before, all that will go. There are some seemingly impossible things before. Get ready. Today is your day. The day of your deliverance. The day of your power, the day of your victory, the day of your breakthrough. All sorts of breakthrough. 
please cancel us if we have finished in a section can you just wave the flag signify let's see you please raise it up very well okay we can see some but we we have not seen many please let's move fast let's move fast so that the miracles can come upon the people in time. Don't forget, you are not going home empty. Those of you who have got salvation, something more is coming for you. You have prayed through on sanctification, you have it, and something more is coming. Because your testimony while going home tonight will be the Lord has done all things well in my life. He will surely do all things well for you. Your sorrow, gone. Your worries and anxieties, gone. Newness of life all around. Your life is becoming a testimony. Yes, have we finished? Please wave the flag, wave, wave it well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I can even see hands being waved. Shall we rise up on our feet, everybody? As you rise up, you are just rising up into receiving your miracle. God has not forgotten. Don't forget intercession has, intercession has covered every area of your life. Amen. What Jesus prayed for, you receive right now. His intercession will always be effective. He prayed for the sick and is praying for you right now. That sickness will vanish away. That infirmity will vanish away. Whatever you have found impossible in the area of your healing, tonight it is possible. And so identify that sickness and Lay your hand where you have the challenge and raise up the other hand. And as we pray, in line with the prayer of Jesus, in line with the intercession of Jesus, they will bring that intervention, that healing, that deliverance here tonight. And when you hear the final amen, you know that heaven has accomplished it. I believe I will see it done. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Your miracle is coming right now. Father, in Jesus' name, we know that Christ has won the strike for everyone's healing. Everyone here, everyone online. And we're asking, Lord, tonight, accomplish that which Christ has interceded for in Jesus' name. From the top of there to the tip of the toe, bring your healing miracle upon everyone right now. That is sanity. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Those demons attacking your life, harassing your life, I command those demons, come out in Jesus' name. 
our lives. Lord, I pray and for those who have had incurable disease, around, cancer, the be healed the in, the Jesus in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Also, Let's pray be healed in Jesus' name. We present ourselves, so spirit and body. High blood you. pressure. And we're asking the hand of the Lord is upon you right now. Extra you are healed in, in Jesus' so name. You can send us Diabetes, type 1, type 2, any time. I pray the Lord will touch you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray for those who have a spiritual problem. I'm asking God bless Lord, you. See down this all morning, that asthma, we're speaking everything on risk, will be healed right now. You are healed in Jesus' name. And a swelling in, in your body. Hunch back. I was reading from verse 1. God is out there for my son. Uh, near. Be strong in the grace that is in the big Jesus. The Lord was touch you right the now. Grace, the grace be healed now in and Jesus' name. Strong in the grace we have that swelling come out in Jesus' name. Fibroid was come out in apart, Jesus' name. And that problem in your kidney, to be I pray, Lord, in the life. Grace of God, welcome to that we kidney. To experience the grace Lord, I pray your healing will touch that area too. Every part of their lives, every part of their body, I'm asking Lord, healing, miracle, those blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. The fears, dumb tongues, the hand of the Lord is touching you right now. You are healed in Jesus' name. What we have, what we possess, and what we experience, we pass on to all the people. But the Savior for me to all the hands will function normally. Your feet will function normally. Those who are paralyzed or lame or one leg shorter than the other, miracle healing. Miracle deliverance. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray everywhere to the left, to the right, in the middle, on the at the front, front and with you, as at the back, of Christ, we online, whatever, over the part, radio, as a good soldier, over the Jesus television, for, I send forth no your healing power everywhere in Jesus' name. It calls us to war fear. We war against sin. We war intervention against sin. An we intercession war in every Satan. life. We war with patriot. As we open our eyes now, we open our eyes to miracles. We open our eyes to healing. We open our eyes to deliverance. It is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. Check up yourself. The miracle, your miracle is there. Just silently check yourself now because the prayer is answered. The miracle is done already. Just check. Just check silently and you will see a difference. You will see a great change. They have not and as soon as you see it, rejoice in the Lord. Shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Lord. And, say, That's good and enough. Many people come are out so that you can come and share the testimony with us. Even for the Don't see, I will go home. I will go and check between now and tomorrow. What God has done, he has done. He has done it. Very well. 
He has removed your fear. And the teachers he has the removed church, your reproach. Many times, they are not as prepared as the teachers. The miracle has the come upon there you. Are managers in the world, the people that as you lead, check, the people that manage, and the people rejoice, that will see the and of a particular come out company and share your testimony with the rest of us. A community and, and over there too, with all in all other locations worldwide. And evening, and when do the same. Also there, check. They are there. And the over there, the church was declare not as the goodness of God. And not as dedicated and not as declare dedicated the glory of the, the Lord of the world and they say well that's good enough tell that's of his might there you, that's not good enough mastery it says if he and for those of you that are online for masters yet the link will still work for it too time what are your we testimony for? what are we and working send for? it what are we laboring for what or we send it through WhatsApp as using the phone number we gave Lord. you. We're looking at Daniel. Yes, come, 11, come, come, come. I'm reading from verse 32. Daniel 11, verse 32, and such as do wickedly. He is a miracle working God. He is a miracle working God. He is the Alpha and Omega. Is the miracle working God? The miracle working God. Sing it. As we consider racing and reviving soldiers of Christ. Is the Alpha and Omega? Is the miracle working God? Hallelujah. ministry included and it says whatever we encounter in that ministry we endure is not at the at the, at the foremost at the point please keep coming yes and the difficulties some are already coming join them there's no point i didn't know don't say you want to go and wait till tomorrow before you come out don't say i want to go and check it god has already done it Express for the Lord. If we go to win souls to the Lord, if we go to fulfill the great commission in our time, in our day, and in our community, he says, Watch, cast our lost head, then, head, then, head, then, and deal afflictions. You are with them when the prayer was going on. Of thy ministry, of the ministry, of the ministry, of Yes, 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 
From the online Lord now, says, I created you for a better thing. I created you for a higher thing. I created you for something. Yes, more yes, yes. They too have turned out to be a day Christ has interceded for us and confirmed the ministration of the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. There are great testimonies coming out live from the social media. Let's begin with this one from YouTube. Lovely Kingsley, a joke, wrote, praise the Lord, I am healed. I have been having this strange body odor. It's been for a very long time now. But after the prayers of the man of God, she wrote, I received my healing. Go to church. Yes, we we'll go to job, but many Praise the Lord. It doesn't mean Body odor have a copy of the Bible. Yes, we well, should have a Hallelujah. Copy of the Bible, I've just gotten healed of chest pain and errorless heart cough. Also ben Urama says. Along with them, and they also, also you carry do. their so so precious along with them. And difficulty they also carry evil influence with them. After is the final amen. Church, is beyond From the church. From from Unaji Samuel is says he has had a strange Bible, scratch at his back for a long time, but after the prayer of the man of God, many it has gone. Praise the Lord. And they still and sing still from YouTube, we have Regina Manasseh. Praise the Lord, she wrote. I had hypertitis for a long time now, but during the prayer of the man of God, I felt something leave me. So I later went for a checkup. And I found Lord, out that hepatitis had become negative. She wrote, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. The torch. 
DLC of duty. And the sword of the Lord is saying, if you're going to the cup, immediately after the final amen, if you're going to my cup, praise the Lord. And I'm here to admit the salvation of the Lord. There is something you do. You will not touch what last week, which was all said, in not swallowing food properly. But praise God. Now I am here and can swallow food properly. Glory to God. Receive you. He says, until, From until, DCL until and YouTube, we come out Paul of them. Paul says, he has been having severe pain on his right upper arm. But after the declaration of the man of God tonight, he felt an instant relief. Praise the Lord. But when you repent, and you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the name is Akiri Made, he wrote, praise the Lord, and then it my waist father. was pain in me, but after the prayer of the man of God, all the pain disappeared, praise the Lord, and more testimonies coming Lord on social media, Somebody that say, will be amen. when we return, we return well, now to the, the moderating overseer, God is to win Amazing wonders. Sons to soldiers of Christ. We're moving on now. We're moving away from the camp and the level, the ground zero level of sinners. We move up. We become sons in the kingdom, sons of the Lord, and the children of God that have changed lives, transformed lives, and now to the next level. Of Christ, look at this testimony now. Amen. From verse nine, it says, "For I am Doctor Deji Samson, a medical practitioner. Authority. I have First here with me Mr. James Abo to share his testimony. Under authority, whose authority? Under the authority of Christ, Pray and only what Christ Lord. has commanded. Hallelujah." My name if is James Abo. I come from Yekemi Group in a location. To the Christ I want to testify the goodness of the God. It happened 2021. At my right six year, I have a sharp pain inside my right cheek. It was very severe, very me. painful that I cannot even chew anything that is strong. Under me. That when day, I will, I will, I will be crying Christ, like a baby. So I was expecting God go Christ the, for his miracle want, through this problem. So, and I was praying since 2021. I have prayed on it every GCK. Christ, but by the glory of I God, the last GCK, don't you receive so me? You want I was to praying me? on it Take every day where our daddy in the Lord will ask us as to lay our hands and he in wherever you. we have and when you pains. Become converted, so when you I become always put my, my hands there. A child but of I cannot God. actually record the day, whether the first day or the so last day that the problem, but all I know since that to this day, I can never record anything. I can eat anything. Not as strong as Strong, nothing is under no pain authority. again. Praise the Lord. Is the filing is the praise for Christ. Take me as a no. He doesn't take you as well. He transforms you. Is medically called watch trigeminal neuralgia. And that's the thing we need to understand. We do not be healed completely by the power of the Lord. Thank praise the Lord. Christ I said praise the Lord. The church. We do not Grateful hearts our deep declare the good our deeds of the Lord. Join Christ them as you have experienced the, the miracle we touch of God in your life too. Our bad character. Let's listen Christ to more testimonies. On the church and on the community. I but present the second testifier, all our past, Mr. James and now we come Akiwale. under authority. And we now have, we are now soldiers and we have the mindset of a soldier under authority but when and me soldiers you are under me and I say to this go Only and for me he does not agree Pastor he goes James that's a soldier a soldier of Jesus Christ he reads the word 
he does it. He hears the word, he obeys it. He says, he hears this is the way, walking therein, and he does that. And he does that immediately, he soldiers. And he does that promptly, he soldier. And he does that wholeheartedly, he soldier. And he does that with all his heart and with all his mind. He doesn't have an alternative because he has not become a soldier under Christ. And I say to this, I'm Go and he would. There is no other consideration. Should I? Should I not? Should I consult another Lord, another master, another human being as a soldier? And then he says unto another, Come and he come in. And they do not take time of the They do not delay. They do not drag. They do not argue. He is a Soldier, a do it, he keeps on doing it until I change the command, until I change the commission, and he doesn't say that this time now, my status shall have been changed, so your Christ doesn't think like that. By this time now, my responsibility should have changed, doesn't you see my level, doesn't you see my state of health, doesn't you see the way I am at this time of case, if he's not changing it, I'm changing my setback. The soldier does not do that. They should have recalled me from the battlefield. They should have recalled me from that assignment. I say to my servant, as a person under authority, and I have soldiers under me, and they are under authority to do this, and Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, reading from verse 6, Acts chapter 9, verse 6, but you should be in an unsaid Lord. That change Saul to Paul. That change the injurious man to a man of integrity and a righteous man to a man of righteousness. The Lord, you know the story that, that uh, you know, the Saul was going on the way to Damascus. He was going to persecute the church, the members of the church, and the Lord confronted him. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? I would add out, so you have not answered the question. Why? Why persecutest thou me? By the grace of God, he had been suffering, had been suffering for partial blindness for years. He had an encounter on a, an uh, in the dream that, that a back in here prayed for him and he received his sight. And tonight, by the an grace of God, after the prayer of the man of God, he could open his eyes and see wise. everything clearly. Praise Why? the Lord! Are you that Hallelujah! Sin? Why? Again, praise are you the Lord! Evil? Why? You should be are happier. You, you should be happier Why? for this great thing that God has done. He came to see where community. Why? Why are you destroying lives? Why are you getting drunk? Many times we don't have answers to the questions that come from him. Now, a ball challenged the authority. The voice was here. Another testimony. I present Mrs. Ogushala Tikilayo to share her testimony now. Okay, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. was taught was since useful, November, the Lord has taken it away. Praise the Lord. the Lord. Likewise, he was having Lord high blood prayer. After Lord the prayer of the man of God since November, it departed totally. She's now made oh Praise the Lord. What a great profit from the impartial intercession of the Lord Jesus Christ. It covers every area of our life and our needs. The Lord that the Lord delivered her. More, more, more testimonies are coming. Yeah. We have here. Mr. Sheyi Adebayo, who is, who is here, his testimony now. Adebayo, praise the Lord. What so, I'd like to speak now, look at the analyst, Yoruba. So, Yoruba, Mr. Sheyi Adebayo, in the Sunday, in the Oji, my chest, right chest, was so heavy. I lied to do this as a soldier. Very well. And if I this is my right arm. I cannot be able to move it off since, uh, since last soldier, week, Sunday. I can't move my right arm. So this lady, Timo Anibishe, may the Lord be with you and with you. And I want to place her far from this place. I just came and like I'm not the person like, to this to crusade. Look at number so with that, I'm sorry, I'm going to draw a CBT on the door. I just came and left my left hand on my chest. Is because uh, God I don't need to for all those things. Remember, God no. But when she pray, we pray. 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 Let me just I go know and see what's going on there. I will and do what I will in do. Pasha. What? Say it out. In partial intercession of our Lord Jesus Christ, and they work for him, and the heaviness on his chest went off, the pain on his right arm went off. God has healed him. I pray that the Lord will make it permanent for him, and he will appreciate God more. Management. Self More testimonies and self, um, you know, okay, no propagating people that they, they just the know self lives and inside and achieve and alive, Make you call our Lord, or a lot of all why you will hurt or when you fall on and you are all the people. Yeah, self centered now. If we go into praise the Lord, he gave a testimony that he was formerly a sinner, but through the message of the minister of God, he got his salvation, he gave his life to Christ, is now a new creature. Praise the Lord, and you remain in. New creature in Jesus' name, on, going from victory to victory, abiding in the Lord down, in Jesus' name. Trample on them, on them, he will kill them, destroy them, so that we can get where we have the vision of Absalom that we want to get to. We have.
hear Mrs. Oladimedi Oluatoyin. She has a testimony to share. Please go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Oladimedi Oluatoyin from Ogoluwagu District, Oshogbo region. I have in Christ, uh, long look at this in John in chapter 5, 5 verse 16, I it went says, for I MRI, of my and uh, it was confirmed that I had Nothing lumbar spondylosis, Lord of and I've been managing I. it. That's a so a month ago, it became so severe of our salvation that, that I could not even stand to take my bed. I have to sit down on the chair. At times, I sit down in the bath nothing. like a baby if to take my bath. Somebody under Christ, now, under the I've been managing it, but on Sunday, when we were about to go out Lord, for mass publicity, so I, I sat down in the car, I and a sister and I tell me that am I going to sit in the car for the publicity? Of his soul then I took the challenge. My other was even pleading to her that she leave me. Then I said I did just leave her. Then I went down. And I trekked from my November 27 uh, bridge down to this side. Dancing, publicizing. Uh, when I got home, the pain became so severe church? that I could not even bend. I could not even turn myself. I could not do anything. It was my husband that cooked for the family yesterday morning. My mother in the Lord called me I'm so, and said, I am so, I, She has I'm not so been seeing me. Now. Firm. I just stood in and when told you get her something that I've done. Good I don't want to tell right, her that I have been because she's a medical personnel. And I know what that what she says is that I should go and I've take my rest. And I, I know this is the first time. The devil does not want not me to partake. Christian. So it's I just told mommy and I did what I could do. When we got home yesterday night, we took our dinner to the family altar. We wanted to go and sleep. I just decided that I could lay myself down on the bed easily. The I stood up. I called my Jesus husband. I said, can I can stand up. I give him the directives. Walk. Here is what to go. Here is what now. to do. And here is what to disappear. Praise the Lord. It has gone forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Lumbar spondylosis is a problem with the vertebral balls <laughs> of the, the back and uh, it can be very, the pain can be excruciating. The only way to diagnose it is I by magnetic resonance imaging. So, so imaging, the MRI confirmed that he had, he had the disease, but God, through the prayer of the servant of the Lord, took away the pain completely, and you can see somebody in that condition, like she has said, will not be able to even lie down because of the pain in the back. We praise the name of the Lord for the miracle. Amen. At least let's listen to this. Before we let's listen to this, please. Look at chapter 6, Again, verse by 3 p.m. tomorrow, I came down in the hall heaven, towards our left hand side here, wheel, there will be a meeting by 3 p.m. Launch us with the Lord Jesus but Christ. It is for all those who just gave their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ yesterday and today. And of course, it continues tomorrow too. So, all those that gave their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, please be there by 3 p.m. And you will be helped greatly to continue in this newfound life in Jesus' name. Then, apart from that, on Third September. I it's a Sunday. Nothing. I and uh, in the Deeper Life Bible nowhere. Church, the Central I Church in no, in uh, Parline area I in Oshogo here, by 3 p.m. It will be a, it will be a time for banquet for all converts of this program. Please let's have, have that in mind. 3 p.m. on Sunday, the third September. Please be there. Then God please the listen very well to this. Was taught, Tomorrow morning, and he never 7 a.m. at work deep. The instruction, the at work deep. Of the Father. Everybody knows what deep. That is where we will be having a special program. And they do not need for the youth, the program with our now Father in the Lord. So and is so honestly expecting all youth said, from the whole of this city and beyond, everywhere, me, to be part of that program. 
these great things, things will happen to them there. They will through that program get to a great height in their lives in the name of Jesus. So please use that as still remaining. Make sure that you go around all I others between tonight and early tomorrow morning so that I they can join you to be in that program. I, I know you are like getting set to be there soldier, and God is waiting for you to bless you richly but bring many that others that all do, will be blessed together in Jesus' in name. As you're talking to those salvation. that are online, as we are doing it here, we know it's also happening there. The youth are gathering together in every place around the globe, all over the globe. So, 7 a.m. Nigerian time, gather together and then be blessed richly in Jesus' name. When, when we say youth, we mean all our teenagers, all our high and students, and students and uh, all young adults. The program the is for us all, the road, and, and great, the water great benefits, you know, profits await us in the program. Uh, before we round all the prayers, let's just have a time to praise the Lord as we all rise up on our feet. When we're angry, we lose the proper direction. When we're angry, we lose our body. When we're angry, we lose our soul. The man was angry, and then he is Of the striking of the rock, because water came out, they say, the good as a proof of my action. Because if you need it, a proof of my action, look at the result. Can you see my miracles? And you will say to me, it had The propelling power of the miracle, of those miracles, many people lose themselves and they lose their destiny because of anger of the forces of anger. And they are not listening anymore to what should I do? What should I speak? In what direction should I go? But Jesus said, For I Let's worship the Lord. Always Let's return all praises, all adorations, and all thanks him. to Him. Well, you for indeed, the Lord Jesus has conquered Satan for you, from for all, five. for us together. Philippians chapter 2, reading from verse 5, let this mind be in Thou you. art what worthy, O Lord, mind, the mind to receive all praises, all glory, all honor. God, that will not for to you alone is all dominion and all majesty. Glory be to your name in Jesus' name. We thank you very much for the way you are stretched forth your hand tonight and touch all unto salvation and touch many unto deeper and, and richer Christian experiences. Thank you for the innumerable healings you had wrought. Thank you for what you did at Alpha Location here. And thank you for the many testimonies that came online. Oh, Father, we are grateful unto you for all these things you are doing. Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Father, Soldiers as people go home tonight, the they go home rejoicing Christ that the Lord God has conquered Satan for them. I pray, oh Lord God, that that tongue. testimony will remain intact and fresh in their lives and in their mouths in the, the name of Jesus. Father, and as we to come together train. tomorrow, by 5, so by 5 p.m., in the evening for the continuation of the crusade, of greater things, greater experience, richer benefits upon all in Jesus' name. Be with all, and let more people come and taste and see indeed that the Lord is good. Thank you, Father. And as you go home, we pray your prayers to go with us. And for your servant, our pastor, 
that you have used for us tonight as you did yesterday father more anointing more grace more strength inwardly outwardly and we pray Lord God that as it comes tomorrow it will come in a greater way in the morning in the evening and the blessings will flow through into all in Jesus name thank you very much father because you have answered in Jesus name we pray the purging and the power and amen. of tamed servants the Lord be with for you the as you go home for the commission go home with your blessings commission and, and come we need with to serve the bigger God vessel tomorrow that commission, for more blessings that we fill your vessels and running over in Jesus name in his commission number three is the purpose and the profit of teamable stewards for Christ the stewards for Christ. The people who understand, I am here to do what he has commanded. I am here to do what he is watching over. I am here to do what Tonight, he would have been doing if he were around. in the world today. The, the purpose and the profit will kill you tonight. Save you tonight. You go back home with the joy, excitement, and happiness in your life. In Jesus' name, without control, when a car is moving on, the stroke, the steam, and the brake is not functioning. Miracle deliverance. And the brake receive is not your miracle in Jesus' name. And it's not going and going and going without control. The driver is sitting at the seat, but then because there is no control. There is peril, there is danger, and there could be death, not only the death of that driver, but of the passengers in the vehicle, the powerlessness and the peril of untamed souls without control. It tells us in James chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 5, even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindled. I think if we were to say that since you were born, if you had not gotten into trouble by the tongue, raise up your hand. And nobody will raise up their hands because since we were born, our tongues got us into trouble. Why? Without control. There was no master. There was no controller. There was no director. So our tongue got us into trouble. And in then in verse 6, verse 6 tells us, and the tongue is a fire, and it's a world of iniquity, the tongue. Is a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the cause of nature, and it is set on the fire of hell. Well, the verse is very simple. There are many people that won't have gone to hell, but for their tongue. There are many people that shouldn't have died the time they died, but for their tongue. There are many people that shouldn't have scattered their family, but for their tongue. There are many people that should have remained lovable and accommodating pastors in their churches, but for their tongue. There are many subordinates that have lost the possibility of climbing up the ladder in their company, but for their tongue. We lose a lot because of our tongues. And at last, there are people that lose their lives because of their tongue. How do they use their tongue? In Psalm 12, I'm reading from verse 2. Psalm 12, verse 2, they speak vanity. Everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart, do they speak. 
they speak from both sides of the mouth. They just told you something now, 10 minutes ago. You have forgotten the lie. You come to them now. They speak another thing, another lie that contradicts the other lie because they are not conscious. Their tongues just talk and talk and talk. It says these are people with flattering leaves and with a double heart do they speak? Look at verse 3. It says in verse 3, The Lord shall cut off all flattering leaves. Not some. All flattering leaves. Not the majority of those flattering leaves. He'll cut off all flattering leaves and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Look at verse 4. In verse 4, they who have said with our tongue we will prevail and our leaves are our own who is Lord over us. Those are people, souls untamed without control. And let's uh, come now to um, the next uh, point that is number two. Number two, we're looking at the purging and power of tamed servants for the commission. I think uh, Samson had had a message like this. He will not have just been talking and talking and talking until uh, Delilah uh, kind of siphoned and drew all his power away and uh, became an ordinary man from being extraordinary. And if uh, many people who have lost power, they have lost potency, they have lost purpose, they have lost direction, they've lost everything, if those people will understand, we need to be purged so that our tongues will be trained for the great commission. We will not be getting into the trouble we are getting to. We will not be getting into the trauma, into the temptation, the trial. We are getting to the purging and the power of tamed servants for the commission. We are looking at Isaiah chapter 6 and we are reading from verse 5. It says, Then said I, who is me? For I am undone. Here is prophet Isaiah publicly, publicly declaring, who is me? He had earlier said, woe to the drunkards, and woe to the people that had house to house, and woe to the people that are not following after the will of the Lord. But now he saw the glory of God. He saw the whiteness, whiter than snow, of the glory and the character of the Lord. He looked at himself in comparison with the Lord. He said, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Have you, do you understand when a chameleon dwells in the midst of a particular surrounding, it takes on the color of the surrounding. And when a minister, a preacher, a pastor lives in a community. If he doesn't have the grace to be trained, to be tamed, to be transformed, he will live the life of that community. And if the number one thing in that community is women, adding women to women, if they have one wife, then they have concubines. If that is the culture in that community, if that person does not have the salvation of the Lord, although he says, I'm a leader of a church, like the chameleon, he'll take on the color and the appearance of the community. And you see, I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then verse 6, in verse 6, we're told, Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal, 
in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar. I pray that supernatural being will be sent by God unto every one of us who are the life call and purge us today one by one in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, it's not enough to attend, uh, you know, the conference. We must know, what has God taken away from my life? What uncleanness has he purged away from me? What change has he brought on my lips, on my tongue, on my temper? The temper and the tongue, those two enemies can get us into trouble fast. A temper, a brusque temper, an angry temper, a kind of violent temper that whatever we see around, if it's a stick, we take that stick. It's not just the hand, it's the temper. If it's a cutlass, we take that cutlass. It's not just the hand taking the cutlass, it's the temper. And temper can land us, can land us in jail, can land us in the prison, the temper can land us in hell. But if you say, I came to the conference and there is one thing I know is my major problem, my tongue, my temper, my tongue and my temper and you bring that to the Lord and then the supernatural hand will take that coal of fire and touch your tongue and touch your temper if that is all Christ does today that will be great I said that will be great and it will prepare us for the exploits we ought to experience. Look at verse 7. <clears throat> In verse 7, and he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched thy leaves and thy iniquity is taken away. Remember, 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 this was a prophet. And this was a prophet who had been preaching chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5. He had told other people, he says, come and now. And it was risen together, says the Lord. He heard the message of salvation from the Lord, but there was something still remaining in his heart in his life that needed to be purged away and when that time came he opened himself before the lord and the personality the angel from heaven told him now that iniquity is taken away thy sin purged the lord will do it look at verse 8 it was after that purging that now the prophetic ministry now became established. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. The Lord will do that for every one of us in Jesus' name. And we're looking out at Ezekiel chapter 3, and I'm reading from verse 17. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth, and give them a warning from me. I, the God of heaven, I, the Lord Almighty, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word, not from the radio, hear the word, not from the drama in the television, Hear the word, not from the political current affairs in the nation. Hear the word, not from other people, religious, traditional people. Hear the word at my mouth. Where do we get our messages that we give to the congregation? 
Is it from current affairs? Is it from the television and the radio? Is it from the traditional rulers? They, they have called us together and they have said in the community, this must be emphasized. Now, all of you now, go to your churches next Sunday and preach this now. The prophets and the Bible didn't get their messages like that. The prophets and the Bible, the preachers and the word of God, they didn't get their messages like that. Hear the word at my mouth and give them a warning from me. Amen. Amen. When the messages come from the throne of God, then the throne of grace will be available for the people that hear and the grace will bring transformation in the lives of the people. Look at verse 27. In verse 27, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth. When I speak with thee, you will hear, you will store it in your heart, you will meditate it in your heart, and you will know the import and the impact of that word you heard from me. And when I speak with you like that, I will open thy mouth and thou shalt say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. We will speak the word of God. And when we speak the word of God, the grace for the people, for the hearers to be obedient so they can be saved, obedient so they can be sanctified, obedient so that they can be transformed and they live new lives by the power of the word that comes to them, that grace will come to everyone in Jesus' name. It tells us in Acts chapter 4 verse 31, Acts chapter 4 verse 31, one and when they had preached the place was shaking where they were assembled together understand he didn't say when they prayed the people were shaking when they prayed and assembled together now the shaking anybody can shake himself whether you are praying or you are not praying, anybody can move himself. But when they had prayed, it's not the people that were shaking. The place was shaking. After they are, either they are praying in the synagogue or they are praying in the prison. Paul and Silas prayed. And when they prayed, it wasn't Paul that was shaking. It wasn't Silas that was shaking. The foundation of the prison was shaking. That takes he falls from heaven that takes power from heaven and then it says and they were all filled with the holy ghost and they speak the word of god with what a boldness look at verse 33 in verse 33 and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the lord jesus and great grace was given uh, was upon them. The grace was not to make them continue in their weakness. The grace was to make them now minister in power and boldness. The grace was not given to excuse their sin. Uh -uh. My friend, you're telling me a lie. Well, you know, I live by the grace of God. Are you telling a lie by the grace of God? Anybody can tell lies. It doesn't take grace to tell lies. It doesn't take grace to fight. It doesn't take grace to commit adultery. It doesn't take grace to commit fornication. All those things people do without grace. But when the grace of God comes, that grace of God turns our life around for the better. And that grace will come to you today. It says, with great grace, was upon them. Grace, grace will come upon every one of us in Jesus' name. Let's look at number three here. Number three, we're looking at the purpose and the profit of stewards, inattainable stewards, 
in Christ, timidly towards in Christ. I was looking at uh, Acts chapter 26, we're reading from verse 16. Acts <clears throat> chapter 26, verse 16. But rise and stand upon thy feet. It is wonderful to know the commandments of the Lord unto us. Even if you were lame before, your heart, your mind paralyzed, your brain paralyzed, and your courage paralyzed. You couldn't rise, you couldn't walk, and you couldn't do anything with boldness and courage because your inner man was paralyzed. But now, when the creator of the heaven and the earth, when he commands you, rise and stand upon the feet, you can. And you will. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. I appeared unto thee. The Lord never appears to anyone for nothing in vain. If he appears to us, he does something in our lives that had not been done before his appearing unto us. And when you come in a meeting, conference, training like this, this is the best chance for you to have the appearance of the Lord unto you. It will appear unto you. It will touch your ministry. It will touch your life. Then you'll be able to rise upon your own feet. Your own feet. You'll not rise and stand upon the feet of other people. There are people who cannot stand upon their feet and they need the help of other people. The feet of other people to stand. But from today, you will be able to rise. You will be able to stand upon your own feet for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose to make thee a minister and a witness both of the things which thou hast seen amen there are many things we have seen since we became ministers of the grace of God of the goodness of God, of godliness, of the power in the heart of a man that makes him a minister worth his salt. But he says, and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Two things. Number one, of the things which thou past seen. Uh, have you noticed people go to conferences like this and whatever they hear, if they have not heard it before, if they had not put that in their curriculum before, if they had never preached anything like that before, they throw it away. And whatever conference they attend, whatever they hear, whatever revelation they are exposed to, and whatever power may be available for them, only what they had seen before. That's what they continue in. And I'm not talking about, you know, people who are not, you know, in my category. I'm talking about people, some people are in deeper life. And if there is something they didn't have in the earlier years of their Christian calling, whatever they hear today, they're not going to, you know, give heed to that. They say, this is what I've been doing as it was, so it is, and so it shall forever be. They're not open to the new power, revival, that will lift them up and make them go forward and do something in a higher, greater, wider than they have ever done before. But God and the Lord Jesus told Paul that you will be a witness of those things that thou hast seen and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Look at verse 17. In verse 17, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. Now 
I sent thee. Look at verse 18. As he was saying to them, what was he going to do? To open their eyes, to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God. That's a lot. That's a lot. The people that hear us and the people that want to know what's the Lord saying through you unto us. Well, number one is to open your eyes to what you have not seen, to open your eyes to Christ the Savior. Christ. Today the Lord is beginning with you as a great miracle worker, signs and wonders. Miracle in your life. Signs and wonders in your life. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be healed, shall be delivered. Lord, let there be manifestation everywhere. Whatever you are asking from the Lord, healing, deliverance, miracle, mountain moving, whatever, this is the moment it will be done. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. You've got the miracle. Lord, let there be manifestation everywhere. In Jesus' name we pray. Salvation from yonder since chains break us under. Yeah. Salvation is true if you sing it in pray. All of your shakes it will roll away. You give up, but no, you look no, up. Yeah. There's an answer to all of your questions. We bring you the gospel, it's for every nation. Oh.
salvation is for you, don't need to pay. The you might have feel there is grace today. Hey, hey, oh, 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 oh. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from hopes of Satan. Oh, yeah. This case, yes, so build your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace, no matter your color, no matter your race.